Thank you for uh, joining us for another Thursday video. I hope that these have been encouraging for you. Um, if you haven't, um, I want to encourage you uh, to like and follow us on Facebook so you can get updates on what's kind of going on and different videos that we have. Also, I want to encourage you to go to our uh, YouTube page. Um, we have our uh, Sunday morning worship services there. Um, if you aren't watching any worship videos anywhere, um, we encourage you to do that. We'd love to have you be watching those with us. And the reason why I'm promoting that right now is because what I want to read to you and talk about today is piggybacking a little bit off of what I preached on this last Sunday. And this last Sunday, I talked a little bit about uh, glory, how the glory that we have here in the New Testament uh, is Christ Jesus, and that we have uh, more glory and will have uh, eternal glory in heaven one day uh, that surpasses the Old Testament or anything else around. And so I want to read this passage from Romans that kind of stood out to me. And it's in Romans chapter 8, uh, verse 18. And it says this, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. And so it made me think, because when I think about the present times, I do kind of think a little bit about sufferings. I think about the trials and stuff that we are facing right now, uh, with COVID-19 and people losing their jobs and people getting sick and just a concern and worry that people have. But I think so much of life is putting things into perspective. And sometimes whenever we only look at what's right in front of us, worry can kind of rule our life. And this uh, concern over what's happening can kind of rule our life. And all the negativity just kind of overwhelms us and we get stressed and depressed and just all these other things hit us. But whenever we realize what's to come, what's past, what's going on right now, then we start seeing things in a different light. You know, God says that the trials that we go through actually shape our faith and strengthen our faith and make us into who we need and should be. And the reason why we want to be made into that, why we want to make it through these trials, is so that one day we will have the eternal glory that is to come. And that eternal glory is uh, eternal life with Jesus Christ. And so, uh, you know, if you are a Christian, then I hope that encourages you to not get bogged down by what's happening in this world right now. And if you aren't a Christian, you're seeing this, or maybe your faith isn't where you want it to be, I want to encourage you to reach out to God, to pray to Him, reach out to a Christian you know, and open up that dialogue and conversation with them about how can we live a life that looks beyond what's happening right now in our world and look to the better things that are to come. Um, I hope that these are an encouragement to you, and I hope that uh, one day soon we can all worship together. Uh, thank you for joining us, and God bless.